in this video we are going to see how to apply nodal analysis through kcl in a circuit with a combination of dependent and independent sources so here we have to get a voltage vx by nodal analysis which is marked over here if you see carefully this particular circuit is having three nodes one two three with a potential some v1 v2 v3 or maybe a vx vy vz and a reference over here with a potential zero if you see carefully over here phi ohm is connected between this node and a reference so automatically vx will nothing but the node voltage for this node Let's mark this as a Vy and this as Vz. So our objective is to get the node voltage for this node, which is nothing but Vx. Next step, let's mark all branch current. While marking the branch current, we will always keep the current direction given by current source as it is. So this will remain same, and this will also remain same. Plus, we have to take care of this potential also. We have to pass current flowing through five ohm such a way that potential will be plus minus given by them. And to maintain that plus minus current need to be passed in this direction only. And we are free to mark current direction for these two the way or in a random direction. Let's consider in this manner. So all the branches got a current except this Vy because they are the only voltage source present, no resistance, hence I am not marking the current direction for this. Here we will get a voltage directly that we will see later on. Let's apply KCL at node X. At X, three branches are connected, two are outgoing, one is incoming, and incoming will have the equation Vy minus Vx upon 2, and outgoing starting at Vx, ending on reference, and resistance is 5. Similarly, over here, Vx minus Vz upon 4. Upon simplifying, we will have Vy by 2 minus Vx by 2 equal to Vx by 5 plus Vx by 4 minus Vz by 4. And after simplifying, we will get an equation Vx Let's take this minus v is by 2 on this side. So we'll have a coefficient 1 by 2 plus 1 by 5 plus 1 by 4. Vy also will have on this side with a coefficient minus 1 by 2. And Vz will keep there itself with a coefficient minus 1 by 4 equal to 0 as equation number 1. So this is the equation number one. Simply we are getting after, after applying KCL at node X. No need to apply KCL at node Y because there is a voltage source between node Y and a reference. So I can say Vy minus 0 equal to 20. No need to apply KCL to node Y. because only voltage source is present. So this will give us equation Vy as 20. We can consider this as equation number two. Now, let's apply KCL at node Z.
that notes that you are having only one incoming current and two outgoing currents. So incoming current will have the equation Vx minus Vz upon four outgoing current Vx by two dependent current source plus independent current source as plus 10. So after simplifying, what we'll get over here is Vx 1 by 4 minus 1 by 2. We'll get this Vx on this side plus Vz as minus 1 by 4 and the constant is 10 will remain there as it is to form equation number 3. Three equations, three unknowns. After solving, we will get Vx as 0 volt Vy, obviously 20 volt, and Vz we will get as minus 40 volt. The question was to get a Vx, and we got this Vx over here as a zero volt so this is our final answer thank you